Magpie, the bird. And you know, birds are free, right? So with Magpie and the toolbox and the import and export modules, you will have your products online quick and easy. So the first objective here is to get some uh, product images inside uh, WordPress. Here you will use standard WordPress v library to, to upload images. But uh, Magpie Pro, little tool uh, which will pick up your uh, images from your uploads folder. And you will then enter a wildcard name. So let's go in here to um, back to Magpie and uh, we will select the, the toolbox here, right? And it's over here called Make Image Attachments. It will go into your uploads folder and it will pick up a wildcard name you specify here. So on the server here on VP content slash upload, you will have your images prepared for upload. And I will, uh, in this case here, I will pick up all those called RAV. And later we will pick up some here called S103. So here I will type RAV and then the wildcard dot JPEG and we will process uh, the first set of uh, photos. So now Magpie goes into a loop here and will pick up those JPEGs and insert them as uh, attachments in, um, in your uh, WordPress. And it found 21 images. Let's go into the media library. And yes, uh, Magpie has now inserted 20 one images and they're ready and what we'll use here if you hover the the file name you will see down here in the status line that each image has an ID and the first one here is 3483 but I'll come back to that because we're going to use this ID number in the CSV file for the field name uh, underscore thumbnail underscore ID but let's get a few more images inside so we have some product images and we will use the same here, make image attachments. And let me go back here to the server. And so now I will pick up all those called S103. So I will write S103 wildcard dot and they're JPEG. So we will process those. and insert it and they all have an ID, yes, 31 images. Let's go back here to the library and confirm. Right now we have 52 images here and we have a few more here inserted. Right, so now we're ready and uh, we're going to insert some products. So um, we are almost ready and set. Okay, we're ready now to import the actual CSV file here and uh, there should be about uh, 2,000 rows here, and some of them are the same product uh, because they have variations. But I will deal with this later. Our objective here is to get the files in. So I will uh, load the uh, CSV file and uh, upload that to Magpie to the server. And Magpie will then uh, map those uh, field names in the uh, CSV file to the internal field names of, uh, of Magpie. And we're just waiting here for Magpie to reload. OK, and we're ready here, yes. So the mapping is uh, automatic here on the right side. And we will just scroll down here and check that, yes, there are 2,000 rows. And we will update by SKU and insert if no products present already. So let's start the import. I will set a bulk here to, because we have 2,000 rows, so I can increase that to maybe uh, 50. 50 imports per, per uh, loop, because that will decrease the communication with the server. Okay, so now Magpie here has uh, already started, and it's already up at 100, uh, 150. So it's pretty fast. And uh, I will just leave this here and um, we can follow the process here now. We have about 15%. Down here you will get some status about how many products are imported. 
and you do get some here down here product transaction unknown so this is because some of the products are actually the same uh, duplicates SKU number is the same so uh, this little box here will also scroll unless you hover it so uh, i already hovered and we are now at let me just check here it's actually so fast that i i have problem here now okay here we go 800 products uh, 800 rows inserted and we are at products imported or found that are unique uh, 453 now and so it's processing, processing the, the CSV file here as I speak and we should get a status at the end telling us uh, the time and I could have used maybe a bulk value here of 100 that would even have made the import faster because it's actually the communication between the server and your computer that takes the time so if you're working on a local network and you have a fast intranet network you will almost have this import instantly so let's see here now, we are now through 1650 rows and uh, just missing about 400 rows now, now 300 rows and we have 856 products inserted and we are nearly there now, 95% and 98% 977 products inserted now here at 100% and that took 139 seconds which is a little more than two minutes. Magpie the bird giving you total freedom just like a bird is to import export your very precious products so you can start selling. With Magpie the plugin for VPE commerce and for WordPress.